So they are so they, like a credited to your yep. accounts. Simple as that, yeah. Okay, but in terms of um, so the so the e, so what so is the change to the um? Sorry, say that again. Is the change? Well, so yeah. the term change could could that be exchange? Is it I mean, like a, yeah, whatever you want to call it, change, exchange. Okay. Yeah, and Not, it, it doesn't. And it, at the end of the day, it's just bad deeds yeah. turn into good deeds. Okay. Sorry, can I put this on you? Um, okay. Um, Okay, I think... Um, Guys, no more, please. Yes. Okay, so, okay, so now, do, is there any more questions on Islam? Um, no, not at the moment, no. Oh, okay, oh, let's, let's, yeah, talk, no, let's, let's talk about you're an atheist. Um, if I prove to you God exists, would you accept it? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. All right, so... Understand the proof. Sorry? Do I understand the proof? Okay, yeah, no, I'll try to make it simple for you, yeah? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the argument from contingency. Okay. Yep. Yeah? Now, have you heard of it before? I've heard of arguments using that concept. Okay, so, do you accept, that? Like, here's my premise. Yeah. There is three kinds of existence. There is impossible existence, there is possible existence, and there is necessary existence. Now, I'll give you an example of those. An impossible existence is, can we have a square triangle? Okay. Can we have a square triangle? No. It's an impossibility. Okay, so we say, we put that into the category of a impossible existence. Yeah. And we are left with two existence, which is necessary existence and contingent existence. Yeah? Okay. Which is that it's a possible existence. So possible existence and necessary existence. So therefore, we have to come and say that we accept that, which is there are possible existence, which is yourself. You could have not been born. You could have been a different shape. I could have been a different color. I could have been a different height. I could have been a different body shape, whatever it may be. I could have even not exist. So what we say is that I am contingent. I'm a contingent being. So it means that I am dependent on something else for my existence. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. Do you accept that there are dependent things within our universe? Yeah. Okay. Now, we say that we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. Therefore, we require, or it begs, that we have an independent, self-sufficient, necessary being that gave okay. rise to all of these dependent things, which is us and the whole universe. Okay. So, okay. do you accept that the universe is dependent or independent? What's, how do you define universe? So, well, the universe is, we would say, that anything that is within our system or our observable reality, yeah? So, the universe that we live in, that is com uh, composed of galaxies, yeah? Okay. So, that is our universe. Would that include God? No, because then it will, for example, we say that, is there a set amount of galaxies in our universe? Um, seems so. Not there is, there's a set amount, there's not infinite. So, if there is a set amount, that shows its dependency. That shows that if we could have three less galaxies or four more galaxies. So, yes, and because it's composed of pieces, yeah, yeah. that makes it contingent and dependent. If it is dependent, the question I have to ask is the following. What yeah. does the universe depend on? Universe as a whole? As a whole? Could be necessary. Okay, you're saying that the universe is independent? Um, as a whole. As a whole? Not all of its parts. Okay, but you're saying that the universe is independent? Um, that's a possibility. Okay, so what you've done now is you've yeah. accepted that we require an independent yeah. being You've just ascribed it to the universe, am I correct? Um, yeah. Okay, I'm good with that, because what that does is it tells me that you accept that we require an independent being. The only yeah. thing that you've done is ascribe it to the universe. And now I have to tell you why that is wrong and why the universe is dependent. Number one, yeah. is the universe composed of uh, parts? Yep. Okay. Anything that's composed of parts cannot be independent, because it could have been any other way. So therefore, the universe cannot be independent. It's dependent. Um, I'm not sure I accept the first premise. Why? It being composed of parts. Um, but you did say it was composed of parts. Um, yeah, the fact... Yeah, except that it is composed of parts. Therefore, it's independent. Why does it have to be dependent? Because it's composed of parts. For example, it can be any other way. So, for example, okay. if we had four less galaxies, how does that make it self-sufficient or necessary or independent? 
because the fact that there are four less galaxies or four more galaxies, the fact that it's composed of pieces yeah. shows that it cannot be necessary. It's opposite. What did I say about the independent being? It's necessary, self-sufficient, independent, and is not composed of parts. Um, so, the opposite of that is that it is dependent, composed of parts, and can be any other way. So it can, if it can be any other way and it's composed of parts, it is dependent, not independent. Okay, where do you get those criteria for the Well, it's, it's, a, well, it's, it's a simple uh, reasoning, logic. If you think about it, a necessary being has to be independent. He cannot rely on something else because otherwise the question begs, yeah. if he relies on something else, then he's dependent. He's not independent anymore. Right, that's the definition, but in yes. terms of uh, being composed of parts. No, because at the end of the day, anything that is composed of parts can be any other way. It's formed. It's like, for example, this is composed, it's a part. I'm made, I'm made out of parts. Yeah. yeah, I'm dependent. Anything that is composed of parts is dependent. Okay. Um... So therefore, the question is, the universe therefore has to be dependent. If it is dependent, what is it dependent on? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't think you've um, proven the premise of the uh, connecting the, the connected. Uh, so it being composed of parts and it being dependent. I think you're saying those one one implies the other. Well, not really. Necessarily. What I'm saying is that there's certain characteristics of something that is contingent. Yeah. It is dependent. It can be any other way, and yeah. it is composed of parts. Okay. So, so, so therefore, to... so therefore, the universe. Does the universe fit this criteria? Um, well, I'm saying, how do you how do you ground those criteria? Well, no, it's, 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 I'm using a logical re argument. Well, that's, that's a premise, but where do you get that premise from? Logically, I'm telling you logically by reasoning with you. The, the, yeah. the, the, these are like there's independent and there's dependent. They're the two opposites. Sure. There is something that's composed of parts and something that's not composed of parts. There is something that is can be any other way, and there's something that cannot be any other way. Okay. So, so what we're saying is, in a nutshell, does the universe is the universe composed of parts? Yep. Can it be any other way? Yep. Okay. Therefore, we say it's dependent. Um. Well, where's the argument? For Un that? Unless you have evidence that the universe is infinite. Do you have evidence that the universe is infinite? No, I don't think it's infinite. Okay. So therefore, what I'm saying is. It's dependent. You said it's independent, but I've proven to you it's dependent. And I'm asking a simple question. What does it depend on? Simple. You, uh, you, so your argument depends on the, uh, the universe being yeah, possible to be any other way, yep. implying dependence. Yeah. But how do you ground that implication? Because it can be any other way. It's composed of piece parts. Okay, well, whether it's, okay, whether it's part composed or whether it's... Um, Possible to be another way. Yes. That makes it yeah. dependent. That makes it dependent. Yes. How? Because it can be any other way. The necessary being cannot be any other way. The necessary being that is independent cannot be any other way. Um, why not? Because that's it's innate nature. It in the, a necessary being is independent, self-sufficient, cannot be any other way, and is not composed of pieces. Um, or parts. Can't be any other way. Does that mean? Yes. Does that mean God does not have free will? No, no. You're talking about free will. I'm talking about, for example, his nature. Yeah. Okay. His will is in his nature. Yes. What I'm trying to say is the following: that can, before we go to God, if you accept the universe is dependent, I'm asking a simple yeah. question: Does the universe depend on something else that's dependent, which will go to the fallacy of infinite regress, or is it dependent on the independent being, which is my point? Because there has to be an independent being that gave rise to it. Okay, well, I'm. I'm uh, it feels like we're going kind of in circles. No, not really. Not really. All you have to do is accept that it's dependent. If you do, and the question is that I have to prove to you that it's dependent on the independent being. That's it. So, do you accept the universe is dependent? Uh, no, we haven't got that. Okay, so, so what's, your, what's your evidence that it's not independent? My evidence. It's not dependent. Uh, my evidence? Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just pointing forward. Yeah, the idea that the universe fits, uh, can be um, independent. Okay, what's your evidence that the universe is independent? No, not really. Okay, one second. You accept that you don't have an evidence that is independent. Right. But when I tell you, therefore, it's dependent, you're saying no, I don't accept it. So you're not accepting. You have no evidence yeah. for its independency, and neither you accepting that its dependency. Well, you, you're going to argue from. No, forget, no, of the no, no, forget I'm arguing. Thing, yeah. No, forget I'm arguing. It's just yeah. it's, it's simple. Like I'm I'm not trying to do this to catch you out. I'm just trying to have a like this. I don't want you to feel like yeah. I'm trying to corner you. I'm just saying okay. logically it will follow 
that if it's dependent, if you don't have evidence for its independency, you have to concede that it's dependent. Um, I don't, don't accept that either. Okay, tell me why you don't accept it. Well, why should I accept it? Well, you have to give me a logical reason why you don't accept it. I can give you a logical, clear answer why the universe is dependent and why it requires an independent being. But, um, but you're telling me, no, I don't, and I don't have... You're saying, I have no evidence, I just believe. That's, that's, like, a, that's like a blind belief, blind faith. You presented a case for the universe being yes. independent. Dependent. I did. Yeah, the universe being dependent. dependent. And if it's dependent, it only yeah. logically follows that it requires something independent sure. for its existence. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, that, uh, it's that premise that I'm questioning. Um, yes, but you're not yeah. questioning because you don't have any evidence for it. I'm saying to you, can you prove to me that it's independent? You're saying no. Um, well, I've, I've, I've critiqued your proof. You haven't critiqued? You haven't. All you've done is I've yeah. said, can you prove to me the universe is independent? You're saying, no, I can't. You pointed to the universe having parts and the universe being changeable. Yes, 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 I made that very clear. implying yep. dependence. Yep. But why does that imply? Dependence? Because I said to you, because it can be any other way. It shows it's dependent. Like, for example, you could have not existed. The galaxies, yeah. we could have had five less galaxies or four sure. more galaxies. That shows that it is composed of pieces, therefore it is dependent. The independent being is not composed of pieces. Okay. Simple. One is composed of pieces, one isn't. One is dependent, one is independent. One can be any other way, one can't. Okay. I feel, I feel, I feel, yeah. I'm, forgive me, but yeah. I'm starting to feel like you just don't want to accept it for the sake of it. There's no arguments, it's just, I just don't want to accept it. Uh, that's... No, that's, that's, that's uh, forgive me, no, no, forgive yeah. me, how it comes across, it might not be, but... Okay. Because you are not giving me any evidence for its independency. You are right. not accepting its dependence. So uh, it's just you're just here and you're like, okay, what do we do? You're like, I don't know. I'm like, well, give me an answer. You're like, well, I don't have one. I, yeah. yeah, so what I'm saying is in a nutshell, if the universe is dependent, which it is, I've given evidence to, the question is begged is what? What does it depend on? I will tell you it is dependent on the independent being. And the independent being is self-sufficient, is independent, okay. is not composed of pieces, and it cannot be any other way. That gave rise to the universe. Simple. Okay. Therefore, meaning that that all-powerful being, that if you go from atheism to deism, because then you have to accept, which you have, by the way, you accepted that there is an independent being. All you did is you ascribed it to the universe. So meaning, if you accepted that we require an independent being, all you've done is you've ascribed it to the universe, which I proved that you can't. So we're still now, you have to look for the independent being, which I'm telling you, is the one that gave you rise to the universe. So you need to accept now that we, which you have, there's an independent being. It's not the universe, it's outside of the universe and it gave rise to the universe. It's outside. It's outside the universe. I'm not sure that. So you can't, so if you, because it's outside, it's not inside the universe. So it's not in space? No. We don't, we don't say God is constricted to a specific area. Okay. So, therefore... Is sorry? Is he omnipresent? Meaning what? He's not in a, like... Um, everywhere. Yeah, no, we don't really say. His knowledge is everywhere. He's not. Okay. So, therefore, you are now on the verge of deism. Deism is that there is a, some sort of power. Now we can make that more personal. We say, for example, if that creator, the independent being, give rise to the universe, it must have a will. Because it will the universe. So it has to have a will. Number two, there is knowledge in the universe. Do you agree? Um, in the universe, yeah. Yep, so he has to be the all-knowing because he's the one who gave that knowledge. Number three, is there power in the universe? Sure. He has to be the all-powerful. So do you yeah. see, for example, now we are making it a personal being, a God, God Almighty. Okay. So is there any reason not to believe that? Um, why, why does it have to be will that? Because the universe, the universe came to being. So it was dependent on the independent being. So therefore it has to have a will. How did the universe come, come, up, come about? What about unthinking causation? What's unthinking causation? Laws of physics. What's laws of physics? The, uh, the principles by which things change. That's fine. Who are, who are governing these laws? There, is there a law? Um, sure, yeah. Who's the lawmaker? The lawmaker, um, just the things that are under the law. No, who, who put these laws in place? 
designer. You're, you're supposing that it is a designer. No, it has to be because I've given the evidence for the independent being. You cannot come and say that these laws are just randomly come. What did the laws come from? Nothing. Uh, I wouldn't say that, no. So where did it come from, these laws? Because if there's laws, there has to be a lawmaker. There has to be a starting point. Well, of course, yes. If there's a starting point, somebody yeah. started it. A starting point, the law could be bound up. It's part of the starting point. How, how did it start? It came from nothing? Do you believe something can come from nothing? Um, no, that's not the impossible. Okay, so, okay, good. So, therefore, how did it come to be? Um, well, we have to start with something rather than nothing. Good. So, how do we start with something? Because you, are you telling me that, for example, why is there something rather than nothing? I, I said you have to start with something. Okay, if you have to start with something, either you say that something was always there, or something, something outside itself gave rise to it. Something, um, well, both, well, one, one will be contained in the second one. Uh, as for, so, the starting point is uh, something that exists. No, we know, that we know that, but what gave rise yeah. to it? Well, if, this, if that's the starting, if, well, the starting point, you can't go before the starting point. That's fine, no, but who gave rise to it? If it started, who started it? Well, the starting point, well, you can't, you can't find a cause for something that was you know, at the beginning. Well, you have to, because it began. If it began, who, who, who started it? But it's, this is, this is um, you can't go outside and... You can't go before the beginning yeah. so no no but i'm saying no no you can if you if there is a being that gave rise to it, or something gave rise to it you said it cannot come from nothing you, right. you don't have evidence that it was always there so logically something gave rise to it something um, willed it like i said to the independent being who willed it that's okay that's that's, that's your view that's not my view yes. that's an argument that you you're, you're, you're refusing to accept without any premise any argument you're just saying that's your right. view. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, is it? Uh, yeah. Is there a reason why you are adamant on not accepting that a god god exists? Because I feel like it's something outside the logic. Like, I think it might be something maybe emotional or something. What's the reason you are rejecting God? Because I, I brought some very very solid arguments. Yeah, not for myself. What I've learned, right. and you are refusing it without any argument, nothing logical. So is there something, the reason, has there, is there... Uh, critiquing the premises of your argument. Not really, because the thing is, I, you've accepted that it cannot come from nothing. You've accepted it's yeah. not always there. So therefore I said to you, something well, must have been right to it. Well, I didn't say that's not always there. Okay, so are you claiming that it was infinite? Infinite in terms of... Um, it's, it's always been there, the universe has always been there? Uh, in, a, in a sense, yeah. Okay, okay. What, not in, what, the in the sense of, not in the sense of necessarily having an infinite past. But then if it doesn't have an infinite past, then at one point it started, it began. Therefore, um, it, again, it goes to, it's dependent. What's it dependent on? So, well, so at some point there was a starting point. Which makes it dependent. Because yeah. it depended uh, on starting at one point. So that starting point, whatever it was. Whatever it was. So I'm saying yeah. that starting point, the fact that it started shows its dependency. Something started it. Something gave rise to it. Started, uh, well, that's, that's going that's going beyond um, well what the, what the facts what facts uh, well, well, we're, we're having a logical argument here sure okay so the starting point well, why can it not be God like you're looking at all possibilities but why can it not be God I'm just intrigued okay, why not be, um, yeah no, I'm not I'm not ruling it out logically that's okay that's fine can it can, can it okay if you're not ruling that logically can it be God Almighty that gave rise to it can it um, I haven't ruled it out okay but if you're not ruling it out so can we say it could be God Almighty um, you can say it could be okay good so let's look at the possibilities yeah. can it come from nothing has it always been there or God created it which one is plausible logically can something come from nothing no. okay can something uh, uh, always be there existing like for example Something that is created. Um, is it infinite? Created, no. You can't. Okay, good. So therefore, the only logical argument is what? God, God, God Almighty well, created. Well, you, number two on that is something that's already created, so that's not. Something that's what? So number two in that list of things that, that, that includes the concept of creation. Yes, because it came to being. It started. So is it always there? Um, well, always in terms of um, infinite, no, infinite, pre-eternal and post-eternal. 
Um, I don't. I don't think that's necessary to explain the universe. Okay, good. So therefore, yeah. there was a starting point. The only logical conclusion you have is an independent being, God, gave rise to it. Um. Because you didn't negate God, so therefore I gave you the arguments. Right. The only option we're left with is God Almighty willed it. There's no option, starting point. You tell me, give me another universe. option, give me another option. Right, okay, so the universe started, well, so the universe has uh, a history that goes back to a certain point. Okay, that point, yeah. from there onwards, what gave rise to it? Let's put God to a side. So yeah. what, what gave rise to that universe? It could just be the universe as the beginning of the explanation that we can give. No, no, one second. Did the universe give birth to itself? No. Okay, so, so then how did the universe begin? Well, you're asking how, that's yeah, how? asking about a cause or something. Well, 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 well cause, okay, yeah. did, did, did something cause it? Um, that's going beyond, going beyond my knowledge. No, not really, it's a simple look, it doesn't go beyond my knowledge. I know like, rationally and logically yeah. that something caused it, and that something cannot be caused itself, it has to be independent. Okay. It's simple, it's just an independent, self-sufficient being that is not composed of pieces, gave rise to it. That's it, so, I mean it's two plus two, it's four. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Okay. Um... I think it's four, look, I don't want to go in circles, but as simple as that, I think the arguments are very clear. You need to ask yourself, why are you refusing to accept it? That's what you need to think. Why am I refusing to accept that premise? It might be something deeper than logical arguments. It might be something... Whatever it may be, you know, I don't know. Okay. Yeah? Fair enough. Okay, thanks for your time. Really Good appreciate it, Jason. Look after yourself. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Well, as you can see, guys, in a nutshell, we had a discussion. I don't want to go around in circles. I think the matter's clear. Uh, and we ask Allah to open his heart because it might be something personal he's going through. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.